Hello, in this video we will talk about empty type and unit type. Uh, these types uh, are almost trivial but important trivial uh, cases. So let's start uh, with uh, math, uh, with uh, set theory. Uh, in set theory we have a uh, notion of empty set. Uh, this is a set uh, without any elements in it. Uh, and if we consider a set with its only element empty set, then this will be uh, one element set. Okay, let's go to type theory and let's look uh, how empty type uh, is defined in type theory. So we have uh, several rules. Uh, formation, type formation rule states that uh, in every context gamma empty type is a type. And since uh, this type doesn't uh, have any elements of this type, uh, there is no constructing rule for empty type. Next rule is eliminating rule, which can be used for pattern matching. Uh, in every context gamma, if C is a type, uh, then we can match on variable X of empty type. Well, uh, surely uh, there is no values of uh, empty type, but we always can consider variable of this type. Uh, we denote uh, eliminator uh, from empty type to type C as a board uh, and it's uh, and uh, if we apply this uh, eliminator to variable X of empty type then we will have element of type C so, if we could uh, have uh, values of empty type, then we could have uh, elements of uh, any type C. Uh, okay, there is no computation rule, beta reduction, since uh, beta reduction describes uh, what happens if we apply constructors uh, firstly and then eliminator but there is no constructors for uh, empty type so, so there is no computation rule but there is a uniqueness principle it can be stated or so-called at a conversion uh, which is uh, normally uh, dual to computation rule and it describes uh, what happens uh, if we apply eliminator firstly and then constructor. So in every context gamma uh, if variable C has type C then we can match on uh, variable of empty type and eliminate to element C. So, once again, if uh, we had any uh, values of empty uh, of empty type, then it would be strange because we could have uh, this equality with any uh, value of any type C. Okay, Let's uh, go to unit type. Uh, type formation rule states that in every context gamma it's a type. And there is the only constructor of this type. We will denote its only element in this way. Uh, we can make pattern matching uh, on variable X of unit type and well the only option for X 
is to be this value and in this case we uh, produce this element of type C so it can be written in this way in Scala ok and there is a computation rule and uniqueness principle for uh, unit time type uh, which describe uh, what happens uh, if we uh, firstly apply constructor and then eliminator and if we firstly apply eliminator and then constructor so in first uh, e computation rule states that uh, eliminator uh, from uh, unit type to element C is element C and uniqueness principle states that if we make pattern matching on variable Y of unit type and produce element C of type C depending on variable X of unit type and then substitute uh, unit value instead of variable X then it will be the same as C with Y substituted instead of X ok uh, there are some uh, types and values in Haskell, Scala and Java uh, that are uh, similar to empty and unit types for example in Haskell there is unit type with uh, the only value unit value in uh, Scala also there is unit type with the only value unit value uh, there is type nothing without any elements of this type and there is type null with its uh, only value null in Java there is a primitive type void without uh, any elements and there is class uh, void with capital V without any elements and there is well-known uh, reference null ok let's look at some code in uh, Scala with uh, proving ground library so in this library empty uh, type is denoted as zero and unit type is unit with its only value star yeah. so if we define type A and variable A of type A then uh, we can uh, create function from empty type to type A so we are uh, making pattern matching on argument of uh, this function we declare variable z of empty type well once again there is no values uh, of type of empty type but we can always declare variable variable of this type and when we match on variable z then we will have uh, element some element of type a this operation exclamation mark column uh, checks that element uh, that is our function applied to variable z uh, has type a and similarly for uh, unit type we can define uh, function from unit type to type A and make pattern matching on its argument the only argument can be 
uh, unit value and if argument is unit value our function will produce element a and we apply this function to unit value it should be the same value a let's check let's feed this code to REPL I've already started REPL with command sbt mantle test console okay yes it's true okay that's all for uh, uh, such uh, trivial but important cases as uh, empty and unit types uh, thank you for watching and see you in the next video good luck